So let's have a look at the mixer, how it's built and how to use it. So the mixer is what you see here on the bottom. It looks the same on every application. If you have a small device like an iPhone or an Android phone, it might be hidden to hide or show the mixer. This is happening with the button that you can see on the right side of the overlay here. You click it hides, you click again, it will display it. So the mixer is composed of a multitude of tracks. Each track is built the same way. We have a fader, we have a mute button, and we have a solo button and the name of the instrument. So if we look at the very left, we have the click and pre-count uh, track. So this is simply, I'm gonna mute everything so that you hear the click. This is the click now playing in the mixer. If you want to reduce the volume of that click, you bring the fader down. If you want to mute the click fully, you click on the mute button here and it will stop the click from happening. The pre-count is what's happening at the very beginning of the songs so for you to get ready. You can also control that pre-count by clicking on the uh, metronome icon here that you have. If you click once, it will say pre-count off. If you click again, it will say pre-count on. So you can very granularly for each song decide if um, you want that pre-count to happen or not. The rest of the tracks are built in a similar way, but for each instrument. So you can see here the drum kit, the bass, the rhythmic acoustic guitar. Uh, it works the same way. So if you want to hear everything in the song but the drum, you mute the drum and you click play and it will, I'm gonna jump quickly here, and it will play everything but the drum, if possible with a drum segment, yes. Here you don't hear the drum. If I unmute this, you will hear the drum again. If I only wanted to hear the drum, I would click on the drum icon to put it in solo and you would hear only that. This is great for first hearing the instruments that you are going to play so that you really analyze what the original artist has been making. Um, and once you are ready, you actually do the opposite. You unmute everything, but the drum and you replace the drum that is now missing from the mix. I'm going to pause this. Um, and so this works for every single track, every single uh, instrument. And this is what's really great about Jamzone. You can control and create your own mix to adapt on the fly in real time to any composition of your band. You're a solo artist, you can do everything else, but if you're also working with other musicians, you just mute the instruments that are playing with you on stage. Or if the drummer couldn't show this time, uh, well, you can easily replace it uh, with the jams on track, and so your rehearsal session will just sound as usual, and you can practice like if it was in real conditions. About the mixer still, one of the latest additions that we did in the previous update is adding this master track on the very right side. The master track has been requested by you users because we try to reproduce the songs as close as possible to their originals, but so it can create some differences in intensity and softness uh, between the songs. And so if you're creating a set list to play at your next gig, uh, you might see some slight differences in the audio levels in between two tracks, but you want your set list to sound as even as possible all across um, your creation. So we put up that uh, master track so that you can select by yourself the volume of each track and make that level more even across your set list. So to do that, you simply move the fader here and it will preserve that setting. The master track also features a mute and a solo button, but be aware these do um, act a little bit differently. If it's here mute unselected and you tap it, it will mute all the tracks. If you tap it again, it will unrelease of the tracks. And the solo button, if one or several instruments actually are selected to play solo, this will activate the solo on the master. And if you want to quick release all of those tracks, you can do so by clicking here. So the objective here was to really give you even more granular control over the audio levels 
of your track so that you can really create the perfect set list uh, that will sound as great as possible to your ear and will please uh, the audience that you are playing to. <laughs> 